Um, we're the Irish 49er team. I'm Matt McGovern. Ryan Seaton. I'm the Irish 49er Helm. And I'm the crew. <laughs> we're Ireland number 300. Just like the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you want to edit that? <laughs> well, we trained back home in Northern Ireland, Belfast Lock, but because um, we're the only boat in Ireland who's sailing the 49ers, we're a bit limited mm. with training partners. So we're quite mates with um, the Aussies and the Kiwis. So we spent a lot of time over in Australia doing a bit of training, which is pretty good. We spent the last three winters there. so. Um, and that sort of those guys are like one and two in the world, so it fast tracked us quite a bit. And um, so we went from being like top forty in the world to top ten after a couple of seasons, which is really good. Um, and then I guess we're all travelling around Europe together, so there's we'll get quite friendly with the Brits and so on. So we can meet in with them and get as much training as we could. Um, so Ryan and I have been uh, sailing together, not together, but sailing together for about three and a half years now. And uh, it's always, I guess people describe it as a relationship, you know, you spend so much time together and you're, you're, you know each other inside out. Um, I guess when we first started, obviously, we, we kind of knew of each other. You know, Ryan was like top laser sailor back home and, and I was the 49er sailor at the time looking for a new skipper. And we got put together by our institute. Um, but we weren't like close friends or anything at that time. You know, we were just, I guess, two guys that had the same ambitions and the same goals. And we talked a lot about what, what our aims were and we both you know we really wanted to go all the way so we we've met we've kind of matched each other in that respect and uh that was what the whole thing grew out of and now i guess three and a half years later we know each other inside out you know we never spend too many days apart you know whether you want to or not you have to go training and you know things need sorted out and logistics and we're always on the phone or you know traveling together and training and it's it's something that's really important you know i think you could have two people who have a great working relationship but personally don't get on that well and i'm sure that has a real effect on their performances you know like it's it's a hard one to explain you know you can't just be a business relationship because as soon as you walk away from the boat it's not over you know you, you always have more things you need to get on with and talk about i mean i guess sport isn't a nine to five kind of job you know it's 24 7 and it's a bit like that with your relationship with the person you train with then and and race with i guess yeah we um pretty much decided to come to garda because the the conditions you know we're sitting here and it's sunny we're in shorts and t-shirt and usually in garda the breeze is quite good it's it's flat water and it's it's breeze on and we like sailing in the breezy conditions especially in the 49er you have a bit of carnage on the race course and it's it's good fun so um that's really what attracted us here plus Italian food is pretty good as well and <laughs> not that I can say this because I have a girlfriend but there's uh, quite a bit of talent walking around as well I heard so. that I heard the girls were hot <laughs> not that we noticed we at haven't all, seen but, any you know. hot girls yet but you know yeah apparently they're hot unfortunately for us it's a real reality check so you know we've been at this so long so hard that after Garda Ryan's kind of skipped a couple of years of uni so he's going to go back and finish off um, and he'll do that up until May and while he's doing that Matt's getting his first full time job <laughs> I'm gonna go at the work. age of 27 I'm going to go inside the same building every day for a few months uh, and do a bit of work with our institute back home our sports institute so hopefully it won't be too hard a job but um, yeah we're going to take a bit of time off we'll still do training you know and keep physically in good shape and do a couple of days sailing a week maybe you know just to keep things ticking over but realistically if we go away and uh in Christmas time and holidays and stuff we'll maybe just go into a training camp somewhere because we won't have done much training or racing so I think we'll probably skip Miami and stuff like that um, we pick the worlds and Europeans next year and do those and focus on a couple of big regattas but not get not do the full season or we won't bother going away to Australia or training like that and then yeah. maybe the following year when it gets three years out from Rio then we'll start focusing on um, on the aspects and get getting really into it again yeah, it'll be good because May, uh, May he finishes uni and we'll start full time again then, and that gives us quite a period up until the Worlds because they're not going to be until September. So that couldn't have worked out much better for us. I think that gives us a bit of time to get our hands back in the boat again.